I'm going to show you in three minutes how to code a presentation. Yes, code a presentation. And you may think, why? I'll use PowerPoint or Keynote. But if you code it, you get all the benefits of having full control. You can host it on GitHub Pages. You don't have the cross-platform issues. It's so simple. All you need to know is HTML. And you can even simplify it and just do it in Markdown. And you still have all these cool animations. And then your presentation can be open source and you can take it to the next level. If you want to join me at events, hackathons, conferences around the world, and more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. Put a comment below and let me know what you think of open source coding. Go to the open source project, hackamelreveal.js. So the owner is hackamel and the project is reveal.js. You can download the project, you can clone it. The easiest thing to do is hit fork. That means you take a copy of the project and put it under your own account. I have lots listed here, you would probably only have one. So you just select your account. If it's given as an option, it might automatically just do it for you if you only have one account available to you. This takes a few seconds. And now you can see I have a copy of the project under my account forked from Hackamel. Let's set up GitHub Pages so it can be deployed and so we can visually see it. Go to settings, scroll all the way down. We can just change it to master branch and hit save. Go back to our project. Now we're using GitHub Pages. The master branch will be deployed to eddiejald.github.io where eddiejald will be your username. And then after that is the project name, reveal.js. And if you go to that URL, you can see slide one and slide two where you see a nice progress bar on the bottom. So let's make some changes to that. So all we need to do is click on the index.html and we hit edit. And inside the body, you will see there is slide one and slide two, but you can also nest the sections. We can go vertically down, not just horizontally across. So let's try that. So now we'll go vertically down from Eddie loves open source code, and then we'll go right across to slide two. And let's just put in slide three as well. Example content updated. If we go across to the next tab and hit refresh and go to this URL, this is publicly for everybody, you can see it's at Eddie Jowd. If I press down, you can see it says loves open source code. And now I've got the arrow to go right, slide two and slide three. If you hit escape, you'll see the overall slides. So you can see the map of how the slides are made up. The other thing I want to show you is how you can customize the transitions. So if we scroll to the bottom in the reveal initialize, we can actually put more configuration. So I want progress. I think default is true. You can put controls, history, yes. So therefore, we can, when we refresh the page, we keep the same slide that we're on, centered, and then you've got these transitions. So let's just do cube, updated, example. So again, that will get deployed out. We'll give that a couple of minutes. You can also add your own style sheet and customize the styling. There are themes you can download for this. You can also print as a PDF. You can even go further and do markdown within the section. So rather than doing HTML, if you want to add an image, you can do it all in markdown. If I refresh this, you can see now the slides are a cube and they turn and they have a shadow underneath them. Really awesome transition. And see how easy it is.